Hi, I'm Router Bob. Welcome to Shop Saber Minutes. Today we're going to talk about precision linear guide rails. In machine tool design, there's a concept of, of axis motion. Here's what that means. Whether it's an X, Y, or Z axis, there's actually an imaginary line that that machine moves in. That line is defined by the guide rail system. Now, early on guide rails, you basically had a, a V guide and a roller, and, and it just moved back and forth on that. Then that later got developed into what were called round bars. And they worked fine, but they couldn't handle the heavy load, so he couldn't really do heavy machining with them. If you contrast that to the metalworking industry where you do heavy machining, because of the weight of all the components for the machine frames and stuff, they use these big ground square rails. Those worked really good until we came to high speed machining. And none of the previous technologies made sense. We had kind of reached our limits of speed because of acceleration and deceleration at the time. And a couple things happened. One is we started using structural steel for design and it's very predictable in its characteristics. So that opened up the whole door of, of computer design for engineering all the different components. But we also had to create a, a guide rail system that worked with that, that would, would, would maintain the rigidity yet allow us to accelerate and decelerate real fast. And we did that with precision contour guide rails and it's all based on the ball bearing. Let's take a look at the precision contour guide rail system. There's actually two components. One is the rail and one's what's called the bearing truck. And the bearing truck's in bolt to an assembly and that's how that works. Now the key part of this is the ball bearing. The connection between these two components are a series of recirculating ball bearings, just like we have in ball screws. And so that's why there's so much precision in here and the way we've got it engineered, there's no play, there's no backlash at all in it. So it's a really, really nice system and because the contact is fairly limited, you can accelerate and decelerate really, really fast and that's why these machines are so productive. The really great thing about this technology is because now everything's predictable, now I can incorporate engineering software to help me design things. I can actually apply loads in the software. So when you look at a machine and you see, well, these are the size of the guide rails we use, this is the spacing, that's all determined by the software. So it really, really makes a great motion control system and it represents the latest technology. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.